Greetings, this is Daniel Tall, and I'm going to continue demonstrating urban paint. I'm going to draw another edge line this time, 2,000 feet in distance, just to create a profile for us to run with. I'm going to select the edge, and I have saved profiles. So I'm going to go and load up one of these profiles right here, and it's going to open up urban paint and show me the details of that profile. I recommend that you always save a profile after you go through the process of parametrically entering what you want this to look like. Um, the reason being is that you're going to want to reload it and edit it and do what you need to with it. So I'm going to click build profile and it'll take it probably a couple of seconds here to build the profile. There you go. And there it is, it built the profile for me, which is great. Now I'm going to actually build an intersection as well. I'm going to do an arc here, just to show that you can arc through here. I'm going to select that one. I'm going to load another profile. Do one I just did here and click open. And again, it's going to bring up Urban Paint with all the profiles in here. And you can see I have the option for stop signs, traffic lights, to include pedestrian crossings or none. You can adjust the corner radius and the setbacks. I'm going to set that to 15 feet, which is typical. And now I'll build the profile again. Didn't take it very long, and it built the intersection. Go zoom in on it. And that's how quick it is to actually do intersections. You can do multiple intersections at the same time. And it saves a lot of time and effort. I know one question I've been getting is turning lanes. There is an approach to doing turning lanes, but not in this particular version as of yet. So that's how you do it. Let's do one more intersection here, just to top this off. And this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross both intersections, make a really weird looking road pro profile over here. And we'll pick one of these demo profiles I have set up. And this time we'll do do the stop signs, but we'll include the ped crossing and see what buildings we have selected. I'll add a couple of taller buildings to this and hit build profile and it will intersect with both lines. And there you have it. It built the medians for us. and all the intersections. You can see all three intersections lined up in this particular view. This saves tons of hours having this ability to create all this geometry and having a library to pick from. I use these tools pretty regularly for what I, for what I do. And this is the way I'm gonna go over the next, next video, I'll go over some of the other tools. There's a parking tool as well.